So this is my Ender 3 Pro Extra Long, and I designed it basically to have a bed that's 6 inches by 22 inches uh, in length. And I did that because I often print parts like this, which are very long and very thin, and I wanted a simple way to make that happen. And many people have been asking me how I did this, uh, so uh, I'm basically going to walk through the process. Now, one reason why I've made it... Uh, the printer long and width like this is because quite frankly, uh, it was the easiest modification to do. I only have to modify the bed uh, and basically the Y axis. So uh, yeah, no other parts needed to be changed over. So I have uh, an example of this right here kind of set up without the bed on top. Wanted to show you as well as define all of the different parts that are involved. Uh, some of these uh, I just have a lot of because uh, obviously I'm, I'm making more than one. So to begin with, uh, you're going to need two 150 millimeter pieces of 2020 as well as one uh, 415 uh, millimeter piece of uh, 2040. Uh, that basically makes up the bed. And to connect them, you're going to be using these uh, double L brackets. Uh, I found that these double L brackets are definitely make it stronger than trying to print something, uh, as well as these uh, black angle corner connectors. These are the best way to go. Don't try anything else because they actually have a hole uh, that is nicely designed to put the wheels. And I've pulled the wheels right off of this uh, here. Uh, so most of the other parts, uh, I'm just using the old pieces of. Uh, but you definitely need those black angle corner connectors as well as the double L brackets. Now I've connected everything with uh, basic uh, uh, six millimeter uh, flat headed screws here as well as uh, T-nuts, uh, just, just basic stuff. Uh, and as you can see, you can kind of see there how they're all placed together. Now, the one thing that I don't have here to show you uh, is how I'm going to situate the middle. Uh, the springs for the bed uh, are drilled in here and here, and yes, you do have to drill uh, quite a bit as well as uh, thread quite a bit, but I'm not gonna go into all that process. You can figure it out for yourself, I'm sure. Uh, but you do need to drill holes here, uh, and while you'll basically, with these uh, 50 millimeter uh, screws, uh, have well, the setup that you see right there to uh, level the bed. Uh, the middle of the bed, I level differently. Uh, I use basically uh, springs uh, that are found in uh, framed photos. So these are basically frame springs. And I print something, and this one is actually a little too high. I got to bring it down by about 10 millimeters. But I put something in the middle like this that uh, put puts pressure uh, in well the middle of the bed in order to uh, level it so yeah and, and I just adjust these I flatten them or I tighten them as necessary in order to uh, to level the bed and yeah it takes time but uh, I don't know for those people who want to you can certainly add more of uh, these 150 millimeter ones in, in you know certain places but I just find this easier to go now uh, as the bed goes I have a uh, one eighth piece of uh, aluminum here that, as I mentioned, is 150 millimeters by, uh, well, uh, to be honest, I did this in inches. So I asked for a six inch by 22 inch piece. And this is what I got. And uh, I got this piece here, as you can see, from jsr2.com. Uh, it is only like 30 bucks, so pretty cheap deal. And uh, it comes with tape on the bottom, and it already has a thermal resistor right here for temperature. Uh, so I just glue it in the center there. And then I drill holes around it uh, in order to, uh, well, set it up like that. If you want to see, uh, on this one, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, it was going out of the side. So uh, for my next order, I requested it go straight out of the back, which is why 
this one has it directly out of the back. So I think it'll be better. Now, um, some of the other parts I'm still working on. I'm working on a better design here uh, for uh, how things are going to connect to to pull uh, the bed back and forth. I basically just drilled a hole straight through to uh, hold the piece in place with a screw, but uh, I'm gonna print something for the next one. Also, uh, the two things you're going to have to extend for this to work is not just the thermal resistor, uh, you need a way to connect that in, but you need to extend uh, the, the end stop and the motor in the back. And so I got a, a one meter uh, motor uh, cable here. So I had to replace that one meter motor cable. And then I got one of these uh, extension connectors. And I did this and then attached two of these, uh, one for the thermal resistor. Actually, this one would be for the thermal resistor. And uh, this one, uh, for the end stop and then I basically uh, just uh, connect it with the connector here so uh, I use the pieces that I have and just extend them with something as easy as that and that's pretty much it um, I don't really know what else you want to see for anybody who's curious please contact me a lot of the parts I just I just get on open builds here uh, it's easy uh, I don't I think the drop-in t-nuts are expensive though uh, if they are 99 cents each, that's ridiculous. But everything else uh, is a fairly good deal. So, and I don't know where else you can get the black angle corner connectors, but definitely let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to add it to the comments.